The good news for us here at Front Stretch is we could partner Big Bags, Tom Bowles, and Big Bags, Ed Lane together and form a really good competitive Cup Series team right now. Unfortunately, Ed Lane would never want to be a Cup Series owner. Does everybody want to know why? He hates Texas Motor Speedway, and that leads us to our YouTube topic, youtube.com backslash front stretch. Um, obviously, heading to Texas this weekend, and Ed's true love in life, uh, you know, he, 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 he thinks about it every day, every night, uh, as we welcome in our guest, Ed Lane from the Fast Lane, uh, the, my, my day job partner. Um, my name is Trey Lyle. Uh, I'm with Dalton Hopkins, Michael Massey, of course, we're your host of the Happy Hour podcast. But uh, Ed, uh, we'll let you go first for our YouTube topic. If you could do anything you want to Texas Motor Speedway and, and be creative in this, what would you do? You know, I thought about this when you brought this up earlier and kind of teased the idea. Because I'm a man of the people at Front Stretch on Twitter and at Fast Lane Ed Lane on the socials, we'd have a poll up soliciting fans for their feedback on how we could best utilize Texas Motor Speedway. One of the options is not going to be leave it the way it is. That's just not acceptable. Clearly, it's not working. So we could turn it into a tapered spacer track and make Atlanta a traditional racetrack because you could see how Atlanta, if they didn't have the spacers could be a viable track. That's one of the options. Another option for this particular track is to go to the old Tony Stewart, Jimmy Spencer route. Remember, fill it up with water and turn it into a fishbowl. I think Tony said that about Martinsville speedway. He wasn't a fan of it back in the day. Might've been Jimmy Spencer. May have been both who said that. So you've got those two options. The third is the American dream. Of course, that being the implosion of the track itself, even though it's mostly pavement, so I don't know how that would reasonably work. And the fourth would be turning this into a development so that it just doesn't exist anymore. And when you drive by there, no one remembers that it even existed. That's pretty good to point it point it out. And sorry and, for that mistake. And I am so, I am so disappointed that Ed didn't say shoot it with a nuclear bomb. I, he, I'm he, so disappointed. He, he's being tame. Well, see, I, I am, and I didn't want to have to, you know, bring that in, Dalton. You might be able to hook us up with the goods to make that one happen, of course. Ooh, uh, I don't have that kind of access. I'm sorry, man. That's the Air Force. The Air Force. Oh, that's disappointing. I was counting on you for that. I can, I, I can, I can maybe get an Abrams tank, but like that's about it. Like that's. Oh, like, he's like, he's like I don't have the nuclear warhead warhead access, Ed. Sorry. See, here is my fan favorite, and this is the irony of ironies. When Texas Motor Speedway lost the All-Star Race, who got it back? Or a cup date back? North Wilkesboro. So turn the track into a development, sell different parts of it, make bukus of money, and then use the funds to buy da -da -da -da, Rockingham Speedway and refurbish the venue. Even if it's just for an exhibition race at the start of the year to alleviate the travel concerns of going to the West Coast, the East, and then back West, there are so many solutions of what you could do to make this viable and a true win, win, win. Win for SMI, they get more money. Win for the fans and win for selfishly me, of course, as well. That's pretty good. I knew that was coming. Like I already knew his answer. I just I I, I put it on a tee for you. That, that's that's why we had the question in the first place. We wanted the I know. main answer. I just I just wanted y'all to experience what it's like. Every Texas week, every day, oh. before the show starts, each week, he's like, "Can't believe we got to talk about Texas." Um, <laughs> but Texas <laughs> is back. Uh, so Massey, uh, I guess so. Explosion is gone. Uh, if you could do something with Texas Motor Speedway, what would it be? Well, yeah, the the nuclear explosion was at the top of the list, but that's kind of been wiped out already. But I will say, if you did go the nuclear route, it's pretty close to Dallas, so it's a two for one. You take out the Cowboys as well, so that's 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 a win win for everybody. Whoa, but... whoa, <laughs> easy there. Okay, every TV, every every uh, every NFL carrier is like ESPN, uh, ESPN. Fox, NBC, and CBS are all really mad at you right now. But I'm not. <laughs> I like the idea. 
<laughs> You're not a Cowboys fan, Dalton. I'm not. I'm a Dolphins fan. Um, but y- you can't that, – that's a huge franchise, okay? I respect – I got some good friends that are Cowboys fans. Don't – can't throw <laughs> them out. Good, wait, isn't that an oxymoron? As annoying as they are, okay? Isn't that an oxymoron, good friends and Cowboys fans? <laughs> uh, maybe not great friends, okay? But, but I know people, all right? I you have, have friends in low places. That's because <laughs> – do you, do you guys think Steven Stumpf is a Cowboys fan? He's from Texas, right? Yeah, he is. He's got, yeah, I guess we would lose actually? Steven, too. But I guess Steve, we would lose Steven, but I guess that's one sacrifice. Sorry, that is a sacrifice we are willing to make. <laughs> and, and Dalton, you're already so good, good, good with stats, you could just fill in his place. Yeah. I'm, I'm not on his level, man. I'm sorry. Uh, like, I, don't, I, don't, but, I don't surf racing reference as much as he does. He's too good at that stuff. Uh, um, anyways, I guess I'll say the, the topic. Oh, real quick, Kyle Petty said the, the fishing thing about Darlington about filling it up. And, oh, uh, I thought that was yeah. Kyle Petty, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a great idea as well. I would go with okay, so I would, if there ever comes a time for first contact with alien life forms <laughs> i would set it up to happen at texas motor speedway it's a big facility you know if they have a huge ship it could probably land there and then if it goes really well we'll have a good memory of the place right if it goes really poorly then the aliens will just destroy texas motor speedway and no nobody really cares right so uh, it, it's kind of a, a win-win scenario there so that's creative that's that's pretty creative. I like that. Dalton, go ahead. Do you want me to go or do you want to go? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I have the billion dollar idea. All right. I will go, I guess. All right. So um, I, I tried to tease mine earlier when I brought up the screen. Uh, Massey knows about this one. Ed knows about this one, too, since we talk about it. It happened in an SMI track. So uh, neck and obviously we just came from Bristol. So I, I thought about this. And I thought, what would be something unique that could be happen at Texas Motor Speedway? That's not a race racetrack, and you could put a lot of people in. Starting next year, uh, when Texas comes to the SEC, the rivalry will be renewed between Texas A&M and Texas. They don't like each other. It's one of the biggest rivalries that we haven't had in a while in college football. So I was thinking to myself, what's another big rivalry that Texas has? Oklahoma. It's played every year in the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. Uh, This is obviously close to Dallas, Texas. So obviously an event, I think Massey went to this event. uh, It was called the Battle of Bristol between between rivals Virginia Tech and Tennessee. It happened at Bristol Motor Speedway. So my my proposal is this, that every year the Texas Texas A&M game plays at Texas Motor Speedway. Uh, there are rumors out there that Daytona could host the Jacksonville Jaguars while their their stadium get, is getting refurbished. So this is not a crazy idea, but college football the big one of the big it would be a big game every weekend. They would have it would fill up every year because they, they hate each other. So there we go. We just turned into a football stadium because that's a default in Texas is just to figure out how they can turn it into a football stadium. I mean they did that with uh, the Rangers old stadium. They turned it to a football stadium. Uh, when the Rangers got a new stadium. So uh, that that's what I propose. All right. I actually like that idea. Uh, mostly because I like college football. And I also like the fact that you mentioned the Jacksonville Jaguars playing in Daytona. So thumbs up for me because I want that to happen. Um, Marcus Smith, that was free advice. But uh, if you use it, uh, please uh, – you know, I, I I wouldn't mind a job. You know, just kidding. Well, you you've got you've already got an employee. You already work I somewhere. Two jobs. <laughs> he wants an extra job. I got to keep my wants, options open. He's just getting greedy, Ed. You gotta I you am. gotta tie him down. The reason there's Texas Motor Speedway is because NASCAR got greedy. So I'm getting greedy too. All right. Well, I've I, put your cares aside. 
I already have the million dollar idea. I already have the billion dollar idea, as a matter of fact. Ladies and gentlemen, this past weekend, there was a lot of news that dropped. A lot of news that dropped at Bristol Motor Speedway. What was one thing that dropped about Bristol Motor Speedway itself, the track itself? It Thank God there's weekend. no more dirt racing. There's no more dirt racing. That's, That's what I right. the most. At the Bristol Motor Speedway, they're going to go back to the concrete, going back to the pavement. Max, you got to say something. Don't you dare. I'm going to do it. I know where you're going. No, 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 no. But do you, though? But do you, though? You're going to say put dirt on Texas. Nope. That's not what I'm going to say. There's already dirt on Texas, man. It's all across the state. That's not what I'm going to say. You fools. You absolute buffoons. It's an SMI track. Do you know what that means? There's a dirt track right next to it. It's literally, it's it, the Texas Motor Speedway dirt track is right next to it. It's time to have our next dirt track. How many times have you heard everyone screaming and moaning about how we should have a dirt race for the Cup Series at an actual dirt track? Here is your opportunity. Now you no longer have to do it at Texas Motor Speedway. You no longer do it at that god-awful racetrack that nobody likes. Now you can do it on the dirt track that's right next door. As Samai is happy, it's still on their property. It's still hosting – it's still selling tickets. And NASCAR can also give plenty of grandstands around the racetrack. That's what they did for Eldora. Plenty of grandstands around the racetrack. It's an actual – God, it's an actual God honest dirt track that we can race on, whether it be trucks, whether it be Xfinity, whether it be cup, that is our answer. Now we don't no longer have to go to that, that, that 1.5 mile track that nobody likes. Now we can have a dirt track that's right next door. It's still in the property and we can let Texas Motor Speedway collect the weeds. Meanwhile, that dirt track is collecting all the NASCAR Cup Series revenue that it deserves. That's my answer to what we should do for TMS. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. I have been saying it for years. Nobody has been listening. But now I want it to actually happen because now we have the dirt track gone at Bristol Motor Speedway. Here is your solution. Here is what we can do. NASCAR, I hope you're listening because you don't even have to pay me. You don't even have to give me credit. You can just say it's your own idea. I'm ju- I just want it to happen because I want it to happen for the success of the sport. What did you say? Did, what did I say? Yeah, you said. <laughs> did you miss all that? No, I didn't. He just said, I, I've been saying it for years. So I figured I'd say, what did you say? That was the joke. I have been sa- I, I, I'm pretty sure I've even said it in a previous podcast. I've said... Why don't we go to the dirt track at Texas? <laughs> because nobody likes the Bristol dirt track. Nobody likes putting dirt at Bristol onto Bristol on the Bristol Motor Speedway surface. Hey, Texas just beat Alabama. We never know. This could be a good race now. What the hell does that have to <gasps> Texas is what? back? That's what that means. I don't I don't I don't care. Speedway was never there in the first place. <laughs> Come back! It was terrible. You can't make a comeback I mean, if you haven't been Texas anywhere. Texas football was never really there outside of one year under Mac Brown, but yeah, same thing. Here, here's just... an unpopular opinion: the the Texas Motor Speedway was never that good in the first place, even before they they resurfaced it. I agree. I was there. It making, is. I was just making. It was never good to begin with. You're right, Dalton. Yeah. Boom. I, just, I just started out with the joke because he said he never he's. You know, he, he voiced his opinion a lot, and I figured he'd be annoyed if I said, what did you say? <laughs> but clearly, no one got it. Okay. Let, let's be honest, though. If any of our four ideas actually happened, Ed would be so sad because he would miss the mile and a half Texas Motor Speedway. Oh, God. His favorite race of the – you know what? You know how they I, – I know they used to do this for the – um. Uh, the brickyard. If they do go do a competition where you can, and I know like Bushy McBush race did it. If Texas Motor Speedway does a competition to name a race, either in someone's honor or or just name it, I'm naming it the Ed Lane Texas. I'm naming it after you. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna submit as a vote. I'm 
<laughs> we're gonna try to get a campaign on, going so that on, on your the high name... lane on the high you have you have the, those striped the fast like, lines lane. on the striped lines you have like in the middle of of the corners you have <laughs> on the top painted in all white ed lane the ed lane that's what you have it. there we go ed, ed you know what we're gonna start you know the, the campaign worst, the worst part is if this happens they're gonna like fly me down and give me the whole tour and i have to pretend that i like the venue they might make you grand marshal i was gonna oh. say no i got i even a step further is we need to start a campaign now to make you i don't know who the president of texas motor speedway is off the top of my head Eddie but Gossett. to make you that is correct. All right, you are. I think he's retiring soon. I th I thought I saw that announcement. He's already gone. He's already gone. Yeah. He's already gone. Oh my bad. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, uh, you were. You should become the next president of Texas Motor Speedway. True. Uh, fulfill your lifelong destiny, as as the the man who has always poured the most passion into that racetrack. Well, if they gave me carte blanche to revitalize it. I think I'd consider it. <laughs> Honey, we're moving to Texas. Why? Texas Motor Speedway. That would go over like a lead balloon in my house. It could indeed. Well, for the future president of Texas Motor Speedway, how can uh, listeners connect with you? What? It's on the handle. Fast Lane Ed Lane. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and five-star podcast reviews on your podcast outlet of choice. Or... Just listen to Trey and me live from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern time every weekday afternoon on the CBS Sports Radio Lynchburg app. Yeah, Ladies please. and gentlemen, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Trey. Listen to this man. He gives a great show every single time. I've listened to it a few times. Great show. Great analytics. Like, great guests as well. He's a good dude. He puts on a great podcast, great radio show. He's a good host. And he's got the voice for it, too. And 99, Ed, you were born with you were born with the kids. radio host voice. And ninety nine percent of the time, you don't have kids screaming in the background. You just got me screaming at my computer in the background, and it gets picked up on microphone. Trey will one hundred percent. Wait a minute, no, we don't want what you say to your computer picked up on a microphone. Just I'll just like leave it at this: if you've ever Google Office Space printer, and it'll bring up the scene from Office Space with the printer. That gets reenacted quite often at the Virginia Talk Radio Network studios. Also, yes, please, please listen to our show. I'd like to keep my job. So just, yeah, for me, please listen. Ed often bashes Trey with a baseball bat. That, that, that does occur. <laughs> he he has threatened it. <laughs> no comment. All right. Well, that will do it for this episode of the Happy Hour Podcast. For Dalton Hopkins, for Michael Massey, for Ed Lane, thanks so much, Ed, for joining us this week. My name's Trey Lyle. Thank you so much for listening to the Happy Hour Podcast.